Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this episode of People Behaving Badly in Public, you are going to be watching a wedding proposal go absolutely wrong. Take a look. Marry you, and I'm not finna let you do this in no doggone red lobster. Oh, here we go again. Look what you got on. But this Get up, you embarrassing yourself, and you got folks looking at us. Baby, and then you had me here. sitting here waiting. Baby, we already look. talked about this. I do I'm not want to marry you. We talked about it about a year ago. Come on, now how you want to No, let's go. I'm here. not finna do this with you, and you got these folks looking at us like this. Get out my face. Baby, you want me to you still record? Like, it's no, stop. You cut hell in your mama's kitchen. Get that doesn't mean face. that that's a hustle that I have. Do you want me to still record? Baby, no, stop. I do not want to marry you. Oh my God. And then you're going to come doing this in red loss. That's messed up. The guy didn't deserve the treatment that she got from this young lady. Unbelievable. Up next, what would you do or how would you react? If you have a Karen as your next door neighbor, take a look at this drama. Last 12 hours. And you as a parent are allowing it to happen. Um, it's, okay, it's fine. It's fine. I don't need you to show me the videos. I apologize. They won't be back out. Um, they think it's funny. Um, I will I will talk to them. I will take them inside. Well, I will talk to them. But you knew they were out doing it. So the parent is part of the problem here. Yes, I'm a, okay. I'm a total Okay, I do apologize, but I, they were, it wasn't late last night. I knew they went out and did it. Eight okay, my husband gets at four o'clock in the morning. Okay. That's early. Okay. Plus I have two okay. dogs that bark for 20 minutes. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I apologize, but you don't need to yell at them and swear at them. No, again. you need to know how I feel when I, they come onto my private property I, and ring my doorbell. I clearly understand how you feel. I don't think you, I don't I, think I, you I, quite do. I clearly do, and but I apologize. But I'm giving you times, okay? Okay. So, Last night, 8.36, this morning, 8.13, 8.15, and they were coming back at 8.20 and I busted them. Then I walked out the door at 8.24, ran around the corner and caught them. I don't know about you guys, but I am so glad that I do not have a Karen as my next door neighbor. And also, I think as neighbors, we really do need to learn how to accommodate each other. But that's my opinion. Let me know what is yours in the comment section. Please take your time to watch this clip of a drama that transpired between a Subway restaurant's manager and a customer. You won't believe this. Take a look. Did you hear him? Oh, sorry, I didn't. Where is your manager? I'm actually the manager. You are the manager. I was polite. You are not polite to you. Last time you were rude to me, and this time you are rude to me. You were very disrespectful to me. So you telling me to you. So you telling me get is a kind of because I'm tired of people being disrespectful to me. How am I disrespecting you? I'm I just told you. No, you were not. So get the politeness. Get the you know what? I'm gonna post this clip on something. I am recording. Talk. What? Maybe we can have a conversation. Are you serious? But you're being an ignorant person right now I'm by not ignorant? having a conversation. I'm being no, ignorant. You're, you're being you are being ignorant. You are rude and you cuss your dad in front of my kids. I'm a kid or not. You don't care. No, it's a kid. Dude, you don't, don't care about, about my kids. No, I don't are care. you serious? I don't care about you or your fucking kids or your money or your problems or your bull. Are you serious? All I have to deal with your serious? every time. Are you I've serious? Told you are you serious? You know what? You know what? I wonder why your boss feels about this. My boss loves me. You know who hates you? Everybody. Because you're rude. I am rude. You're rude. You're rude. Me? Are you, you serious? I will call the police. Are you? You'll be trespassing on the I, property. And are you serious? Prison for trespassing. Leave. 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 Are you, you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. Are you kidding me? My people, like people, hey, my people. I, not your you people, know what? You, you, you are so rude. You are racist. You are so racist. Muslim, Chinese, 
You no. are rude. You I, are rude. No, I came at you. And this is not how somebody people should treat I people. Came at you no, no, you did not. I came at you you did not. You, you, you did not. No, I this. did not. All I asked you is, way, I told you last time you're rude. Schmidt, I am a. I am on probation for a felony adjudication. adjudication. I am a. If you are a felon, you should not be working here. If you are a felon, you should not be working here. I have every right to work here. You have no right to be here. Get the fuck off. I call the police. You have to count of five. One, you know what? Call the police. Two. Call the police. Three. Hey, four. You know what? You see how you scare my kids? Are you scared? My kids call the cops. scared? Your kids yeah. are useless. My kids are useless. Are you serious? They my kids are useless. Are, are you serious? You're kids get the out. You know what? Call the cops. I'm calling right now. You know what? This is the subway oh, right God. over here. 7515 Francis oh, Avenue. Like this and this idiot just house. literally just cussed me out, cussed my kids out, and now he's calling the cops. Uh, I politely asked you, told her no, you did not politely, politely ask us anything. I hate to say this, but I think the manager's attitude was not okay at all. He was very unprofessional. And I don't think he should be working retail at all. Unbelievable. Let me know what you think in the comment section. In this next clip, you are going to be watching a guy who refused to assist his girlfriend to pump gas into her car. Take a look at this drama. Okay, I got the gas. Come help me pump it. What you doing? I asked you to why come help you, me pump my why gas. Why are you recording? I asked it. Look, just it don't matter if I'm recording. It don't matter. Come and help me pump this gas. Why so petty? Man, see, this is what I'm talking about. Sorry. <sighs> I ain't about to pump this gas. Come For and help me right now. No, much. get out my car. I'm not, I ain't leaving nowhere. Is you finished pumping the gas or not? No, I'm not. And I'm not going to pump the gas until you uh, get out the car and assist me. Okay, so you just want me to drive you around. You ain't got no car. You ain't got no job. Then it's petty. I'm talking to you. No, you're not yelling at me. You're so yelling petty. at me. I'm not being petty. Bro, I'm not, I'm not Get even out. Argue with you. No, that's why you know. This is so sad. At the end of the day, I think we women really do need to do better. But keep watching. Come on, man. Get out of the car and help yourself. me. No, you was embarrassing yourself. Then See, that's the type of men that are around. Man, no. Nah. Y'all see this? Let get out the car. I'm about to get comfortable. Yeah, you gonna get comfortable right on the side of the road. Get out the car and help me pump the gas. Are you serious right now? Can you just hurry see, up? See, so you don't pay for insurance. You don't help me pump the gas. You don't pay for the gas. I pay for the gas. Look, you really pissed no. me off. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Pissing me off. No chivalry. Who raised you? Chivalry. You really being petty about this. No, petty is you too, sitting here on your lazy and not getting out to assist your girl. If I'm your girl, why you can't help me? Can you just hurry up so we can go? We got some. No, to be. hurry up, get out, and assist me. Come on, man. I'm not about to play with you. play too much. Man. No, and I'm gonna steady record. I said, yes, people need to know. Yo, no, you, you really got one more. No, you really got to pick because you already got me. Right, let's go. You got the room. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting out the car. Get I'm gonna come help you get out. You ain't about to do nothing. I'm gonna come help you get out. You ain't about to do nothing. Oh, I ain't? Okay. Am I the only one thinking that the young lady's dad or brother suddenly walks up to the car and then tells this moron to get out of her car right now? Let me know in the comment section. Yeah, you been turning up on me, not you. 
Man, no, I'm not giving. Go through this. Well, you, you ain't got saying? to, cause you ain't gonna I'm be in this car no more. Really just trying to be calm about this. You know what I'm saying? Can you just get in the car so we can leave? No, I'm not getting in the right, car. So you know what? I apologize. Let's just just get in the car so so we can leave. That's right. We gonna apologize and we ain't gonna be together. Yeah, right. After all of this drama, I'm definitely sure that she's not gonna leave him. But keep watching. Cause this is the type of deal we're on a day leap. Watch me. All your bags gonna be right outside the door. That was really annoying to watch. But if I was that young lady, I would just have told him to go in and get me some water. And when he gets out of the car, I will drive off. In this next clip, you are going to be watching an altercation between a Greyhound employee and a customer over a misspelled name on a ticket. Take a look at this drama. It's a hard ticket, ain't nobody know her. Don't make a difference. Yes, it does. They say that your name has to be correct. Okay, look, ma'am. You, you it has must, to be, know what? My name is No, what? You're not getting a ticket at all now. I'm going to refund this ticket. You can go back to Cleveland. And since you want to play, I'll hey. play. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I'm really? saying you spelled my name wrong. Look, and I'm telling you it don't make no difference. Oh, okay. Well, as long as it don't make no difference, then give I'm me the ticket you. back. No, give me the ticket back. Because I'm still ready to cancel out this ticket. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Well, since you was going to cancel it out. Um, and look. My, it says. And okay, no, you so making a big deal out of something. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on. Have that ticket back. I refund the money. You, um, you can't make up your mind where you're going? Mm -hmm. I will refund this money and hand it back to you. You go back to Cleveland, Tennessee. <laughs> okay, well, Cleveland, Tennessee. So you're telling so you're denying. Uh, no, uh, you you so want to argue you're, about this? I didn't no. argue with you. You're, you're mm -hmm. denying me to no. have my name spelled correctly. Uh, uh, no, I have the ticket. I refund the ticket. You can no, go back to Cleveland, Tennessee. No, hold this ticket. Nope. Mm -hmm. Hold this ticket. No, nope. so, no, buy. don't give her the ticket back. No, nope. what I'm I trying buy. to say I'm is. I'm walking away. I'm going back to go. I'm walking away. So we're I ain't telling you no more. So you're telling me. I ain't telling you, you no more. I ain't telling you okay. no more. I ain't telling you no more. Bye. Oh my goodness. What sort of customer service is this? If she made the error, why didn't she just correct the error with an apology and a smile? This is crazy. But keep watching. <laughs> It don't matter about the name, spell wrong. No. It don't Are you matter. sure? They we passed them. They ain't okay. going to pay the seat. It's not going to affect you. Okay. You're going to still pay for a seat, so. You're going to pay for a seat. Okay. Are, are y'all going to be here when um no. y'all will be off work? What time? It said, I think she said come at 845. But see, what I'm saying is you never disrespect the person that's trying to purchase a ticket. And um, I will be I will be following up with whoever's in charge here. I videotaped the whole conversation. She is on camera and I have asked her nicely to change my ticket for the to try to get a price difference. So uh, we will we will deal with this on a separate we will deal with this on a separate occasion because you're not going to you're, uh, you're not supposed to So I'm trespassing. Get out the bus station. You want to play now? I asked you nicely to get out. Now you want to play. You better go get out this bus station now. Okay. Well. Yeah. Get out the bus station. What I'm saying is, I don't. I don't have a problem with leaving. I don't have a problem with leaving, but you you can call me. No, you're. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wow. That was so annoying to watch. Can you all believe that after all this drama, this worker still works for Greyhound? Unbelievable. I think she needs to be fired. Up next, 
you are going to be watching a clip of a Karen couple claiming to own the public street. Therefore, no one is allowed to park in front of their home on the public street. Take a look at this. Went and knocked on the door and asked why. It's a public street. And she says she owns this parking spot. This is it. This is, where is, where is it say this is property of? 28455 Hidden Hills right there. That's your property. property. That's my property. No, it's not. No, it's not. Can you leave? No, it's not. You don't live here, sir. It doesn't matter. I'm visiting. Okay. So do you do this for everyone that comes and visits? No, but there's people who park in front of my house. Continue. It doesn't matter. Can you please leave? Oh, no, no, no. This is, I'm, I'm, I have every right to be right here. You have right to stay there, but you don't have to be a you this is a no, no. I, you know what i'm gonna do i might just come out here and park every weekend a few moments later no 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 yeah. bro you already know that's wrong no no i'm asking you not to park in front of my house uh, well you could ask all day long right and you could say you're not gonna that's fine but other than that film is just a childish little thing no 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 this is childish bro no you're being childish no 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 you i'm not your bro you're childish, childish. I'm not your bro. Like it don't matter. You can call the police. You can call whatever. I need to call the police. Why Wait, what, whatever your wife is doing. My wife is not doing anything except saying, "Please don't park in front of her house." That's well. And we're allowed to do that. This is America. And I, I'm allowed to knock on your door and ask why. You sure? Are. Right. Now you know the reason. So okay. Have a nice day. Okay. Go about your business. Nah, man. You can stand there and film me all day. You just look like a stupid person. No, no, this is yeah. stupid. No, that's not. That's stupid. Asking you to park in front of my not parking in front of stupid. That's stupid. That's super stupid. No, it's not. Yeah, because you don't own this. No, you're right. You don't own you it. You don't own it either. So I don't own it. You have to sit here and talk crap I, and just go on. I do it. not own it. You don't live here. Don't matter. You be visiting. Don't matter. Make any difference to me. Don't matter. Yeah, it does to me. It matters to me. Okay. <laughs> so I can have my opinion. Well, it matters to me that you wrote this don't matter. That doesn't matter. Yeah, go inside. I don't need to go inside. Go inside. I, this is my house. I can stand right here. I can go stand right here on the grass right next to it if I want to. And I can stand right here. That's right. We can stand here all day and look like a couple of idiots. Or you can just go about your day. And I'm, not gonna, look, I'm not going to look like no damn idiot. You right. look like an idiot. You're looking like an idiot because you're filming right now. No, because really silly. Because you know. Because you know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, then have him come over then. No. If that's the case. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sheriff's on the way. <laughs> Beautiful couple. Beautiful. At the end of the day, this Karen couple needs to go indoors to go and relax because nobody owns the public street. Finally, on this episode of People Behaving Badly in Public, this young lady said she doesn't eat at Cheesecake Factory. So, her date took her to a five-star restaurant, but you will not believe what she did next. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness, that was disgusting, sloppy as hell, terrible table manners. She said she doesn't eat at Cheesecake Factory, but then when she was taken to a five-star restaurant, she totally embarrassed herself. Unbelievable.